When I initially created CSV to post, I thought it would be very smart for the categories to be created during the post creation process. However, I've since realised that that extra work during post creation is affecting the efficiency of the, 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 the amount of posts we can create all at once or over a period of time. So what I decided is I would encourage users to create their categories early and prepare the blog. So now, we now have a, an approach where we're preparing the blog to receive posts and it could be uh, thousands of posts, even a million posts. And therefore it is really important to get the categories right. Now occasionally there could be bad data or I, obviously bugs could happen or user error. Any one of those things could cause things to go just that little bit wrong. So it is a good idea to make sure that we do have categories right and as we need them, as well as anything else. Now in this video I'm going to just demonstrate the, the fact that CSV to post creates categories. It can avoid creating categories at, based on categories that have been paired to existing ones. And it will take account into account categories that already exist. So when we hit the category creation button, if the, the category exists, it doesn't create a duplicate. All right, so I'll just show you that. Now, I'll prove, first of all, that we don't have any categories other than the, the default. And here we are on the creation screen. I'm just clicking Submit. Come back to Categories. Click on Categories there. Now, we have one category. So what I do is type Test. Just add any category, then you don't have to delete it. But I usually just quickly delete that. And we do that to make the categories display. Now, here we have computers, PC, elite gaming, gaming, and personal computer. Now, those are all the categories in my data, which I'll just show you. I'll show you the data that I have imported over here. And what I want to do is have the personal computer or any posts with the personal computer value, this value here. I want those to be put into the PC category. I don't actually want uh, a personal computer category. So this is what we would do. I know that there is another video explaining, I'll just go over. There's a video for the, just wait for this loading, the category pairing. This little icon up here that indicates there is a video for that panel, but that focuses on the panel itself and what explains what the panel is about. I just want to demonstrate actually working in this, this video. So what I'm going to do is delete personal computer. And I'm also going to delete elite gaming. Elite gaming posts will go into gaming, the gaming category in general. So I'm down to three categories and that's what I want. But as you know, my data has five. So now what I do is come over to the category pairing. And let me just refresh the screen because I've just deleted some categories. Computers would go in computers, I don't have to select that. PC would go into the existing PC again, I don't have to select that. Um, but I need to select personal computer. I would, sorry, I need to select PC for personal computer. And I would like to select gaming for elite gaming. And click submit. Now, the situation that I'm in at the moment it's just the same as if you created posts, sorry, you created categories before installing CSV to post. So in terms of the settings and the project that CSV to post is managing, there's there's nothing to that makes any difference. So basically we pretend that I've just installed CSV to post, I have these three categories, but I have extra categories. I've mapped those categories and therefore when I click create posts or click the submission button on the create, create categories oh I said create posts again right when I click, click submit I don't expect another two categories to be created I shouldn't see the elite categories or the the personal computer shown so I'll just come over to categories again and refresh that I just to prove because obviously we've got that little glitch that happens I'll just put a test category in delete that and refresh. Right, so no more categories are, are appearing after the changes are made on pairing. That's because we're basically telling the plugin to avoid creating those categories. 
and nothing happens in terms of those those values in the data when we create categories. When it comes to post creation, the the parent will cause posts with those values to be put into the paired categories, and that's that. I hope that didn't that wasn't too much. Obviously, if you are in a situation where you don't have existing categories, you you may not require pairing and the video just acts as a, a little demonstration to the fact that csv to post can create categories the the other thing is the you may have multiple different variations of the same category as i do and you can take the approach what i as i done allow all of the categories to be created and then simply delete the ones that you you don't want because uh, it may be a little difficult doing that um, any other way uh, in terms of what I mean is the you have to actually create the you know pre-create some categories at some point and if you have a lot then it may be quicker just going ahead with the you know creating the whole lot of them that's entirely up to, you, to yourself what is important is the end result and, and that is a post and how they get put into the correct categories and that will be demonstrated uh, in a separate video alright thank you very much for watching